Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another interview session with Vakil Sach. The subject of today's interview is from brick and mortar to going digital. Joining us today is Adarsh Agarwal, the CEO and developer of the upcoming ethnic heritage e-commerce store, Kolgar. He's going to share the story of his three generation family business, as well as the importance of going digital to overcome the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Welcome, Adarsh. It's a pleasure to be here at Vakil Search. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So, Mr. Adarsh, let's get started. Uh, let's begin by talking a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. All right. So, you know, first of all, Golghar is this organization where we actually aim to bring the ethnic heritage of Varanasi, not only to India, but, the, but to the entire globe. This business has actually started way back in 1966. So we are three generations in already. So our grandfather started this business in, in the year of 1966 when the means were very less and things were not digital then. Um, then, but the second generation actually entered more or less in the 1990s, the 2000s, where the business actually expanded to great lengths. And then we are the third generation, uh, moving strong, going strong. And we, what we aim to do is to bring this business online and to, uh, and to have a huge consumer pool in the coming years. So what we're actually doing is uh, the vision of Prime Minister Bodhi. So we are bringing the cultural heritage of our city to the entire globe. What we specialize is, is what we specialize in is Banarsi saris. And that is what we intend to bring along with other handicraft products, not only to India, but to the entire globe. And this is all about going for uh, being vocal for the local and bringing physical products to the digital world. That sounds very interesting. Uh, so since there have been three generations involved in this business, can you talk about some of the challenges that all three generations have faced? Yes, rightly put, there have been a lot of challenges that all three generations have actually faced. So let me start from way back in 1966, when our store was firstly established. It was in Varanasi, it was a small brick and mortar store. Not with a lot of customers, the consumer pool was very low. And in those times you had to actually travel physically to various parts of the country in order to sell, in order to get good orders for saris and other women apparels. Um, things were different back then, means were very less and uh, you had to toil hard in order to survive in the market. Things were then picking a pace and our mm -hmm. business grew. And by the 1990s and 2000s, things started looking pretty great. Uh, we had actually tapped the international market. We were selling wholesale goods by and large, mostly in the southern okay. parts of the country. Okay. Uh, now comes the third generation, which is mostly after 2010, uh, and we are into it. And it's still going strong. But in an era, in a, in an era of pandemic, where uh, people are not really stepping out of their houses, it becomes imperative that the fashion goes to them consumer might not be there at the shop. So the shop has to go to the consumer. Hence, we decided to go digital. We decided to bring our entire catalog online so that people can have, uh, can luxuriate with uh, themselves with the a great kind of a collection we have. It's not that digital didn't exist before the pandemic era. It's just that it's, uh, it's actually picking up a very huge pace in these times. And what we intend to do is to utilize this time and uh, try to bring it, uh, try to bring it to speed. So I there see. were a number of challenges that I am facing uh, uh, for the management of their website is that um, you might not get a good quality of people who are actually making good quality of websites. So a lot of times you, sh you have to take up the hard work and understand and educate yourself in the in those lines hence we are doing that and we are pretty much successful and we will be launching soon that's good to hear i guess uh digital was already on the rise but now that the pandemic is here it, going digital is a necessity for businesses right right okay so let's go into some of your product and services because as i introduced this is uh focused on ethnic heritage so can we go into some of the products and services and elaborate on that? Definitely. So as I said, the Golghar is 
an organization that intends to bridge the gap between an artisan an artist who has actually making the sarees to the patron who is who actually values it and is ready to pay for it ready to pay for it to utilize it um uh well what we are actually dealing in is mostly women apparels these type of clothing is made solely in india and the good thing about that uh, that it is all locally made everything is sourced locally by the vendors here and it's an entirely indian product so we are we are dealing in a quite a lot of products like saree suits kurtis lehengas but uh, for the time being uh, we on the online business we are actually bringing out three classes of products that is sarees blouses and the omnipresent facial masks oh okay. uh, this yes so yeah. the sarees no, no, will be it's smart it's smart yeah yeah it has to be done because you know uh, women these days uh, uh, well women have been trying to patch up their clothing sarees and the blouse but there is a third element to it now which is the mask hence okay. they should also be in line with the present status quo so hence the three lines of product so the sarees is our forte the designer sarees wedding sarees and since their their heritage is older than all of us it it, okay. it requires great care and it's only the work of great artisan so all of this is done since it's done in varanasi everything from right from the threads to the dyeing and then the final product all of it is done right here so it's easy for us to it's easy, there is an easy accessible way of uh, there is there is an easy way to access all of this which brings the prices of all these products down for us hence we can bring this entire line of products at a very good rate not only in india but to the entire globe okay so the line of sarees is is uh, based on various uh, classes so we we deal with various kinds of fabrics we deal with various kinds of occasions that one can wear in like wedding uh, party or mm. casuals okay uh, so that size and then we have blouses these blouses are supposed to go in line with the sarees that we sell again mm. these are also classified on various occasions the threads various types of padding in in blouses and and in, in, and to keep in line with the modernity uh we have actually ditched the way of actually stitching them for uh, we have actually ditched the way it's custom made for each woman we are okay. selling them in the form of a, how a normal shirt is sold like in sizes like extra small s xs oh. s m l so oh. in the same way we are actually bringing the sizes of the blouse in this fashion xs s m l xl so yeah. it is important to be, yes we have we have tried to standardize this uh, mm-hmm. why it helps is because nowadays women the millennials they don't have really much they, they don't have much time to go out and get it custom stitched and the, and, the, and in the pandemic times things have really gotten bleak so if okay. you have to be fashionable and if you have to keep things simple you have to have everything online so that's the vision here so we want to modernize our cultural heritage and bring it to the people so that it's easily accessible to them and the third and the one of the most important segments in these times is the masks so the designer masks again go in lines with our the collection of sarees and blouses uh, they are also made skillfully and with same type of uh, threads that are being used in the former two products and this is the three line of products that we are planning to come up with in the next month of course we will add to this various handicrafts and other clothing as well i uh, know it's interesting since you talk about heritage over here i believe uh, varanasi the city itself plays an inspiration behind your business behind your products and everything so can you speak a little bit about growing up in varanasi your family uh right so as you said i meaning uh, we it's as i said it's it's all locally sourced and it's all born and brought up in varanasi so let mm-hmm. me tell you a bit about our neighborhood so we actually lived in this place in this neighborhood whose name is golghar that is oh. what our website's name is golghar.org oh, okay. so okay. 
that's where all the ethnicity of Varanasi lies. That's one of the oldest parts of the city where, uh, okay. where the artisans would actually make their clothing and sell it to people. Hence, it's mm -hmm. very pers it's, it's related to us to a very root level. So we okay. used to live where we worked. Uh, so it's, 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 a, it's kind of a personal touch that, that we have with it. Hence, we are, my family has been born and brought up in, in that kind of uh, environment. So it's very much, uh, we are related to it in the roots. So right. my father is a businessman. He has been doing this mm -hmm. kind of business. Uh, after the grandfather, it's his generation that has taken care of it. And we are going way too strong in the third generation as well. Uh, so, and my sibling, uh, my father, my brother, he is, is also a colleague and all of us are doing this business together. And it's just yeah. like me trailblazing this business. It's like, it's the vision of all three of us who, who are yeah. taking care of it along with yeah. other family members. Um, so my sibling is actually a graduate from the fashion Institute of technology, state university of New York. This gives him a special leverage of uh, bringing the entire okay. ethnic wear to its modernity. So as I said, we have a vision of, yeah. of fusing the modernity along with the ethnic cultural heritage. So that is where the bridge is joined by his expertise. And my father is a visionary. So he has been thinking about okay. business for quite some time, but it's about the need of the art to do it. As you said, because it's the necessity or else we won't survive. Uh, hence, we we have it's it's an it's an entirely family business culture and tradition. You might see very less of it in in the modern times. Hence, we are trying to preserve it, and we are trying to uh, and we are very excited since the youth of the country is being encouraged in so many ways. And the Prime Minister's vision goes to those type of youth who are actually trying to do some good things. And it's Varanasi is the place where things happen. Is the place? It's one of the oldest cities in the world. So that's what our vision is, and that's what our family is involved mm. in right now. How would you describe your work-life balance? The reason I ask is, as an employee, you're working about eight to nine hours a day in an office, or in this case, working at home. Uh, but when, you, when it comes to managing your own business, you are practically working 24-7. That's your business. No one else is going to look after it. So uh, how do you maintain that work-life balance? Right. So. Uh, about the 24-7 business, yes, it really is. We keep brainstorming about ourselves. We keep thinking as to what new can be done. Well, it's said that okay. people who can bring out new adaptions can only survive in the market. That is the forte. That is that is the USP of our business, that we have been doing very much new things. And we have been impressing people mm -hmm. by and large about that. So, yes, we are doing it 24-7. And how do we manage it? Since it's family, we, we do everything together. So work is together and uh, our personal life is very much intertwined with it so there is not much yeah. of a demarcation it's like it's like a it's like a blur line between our work and our family time so that's how it goes okay now when you speak about it you know there's a lot of love and affection with the work that you're talking about because i guess uh, you know what, what there's a saying right if you do what you love, you never have to work a day in your life. So right, I forward. see that. I see that. I mean, I hear that in your voice and uh, how you're explaining about uh, your family business. So I hear that. I see that. So it's 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 a pleasure when you talk about it. You know, to hear a that. pleasure has been ours that we have been able to tell this to the world because uh, yeah. it's a very niche area. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's 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 there. It's what India is. This is us okay. and. And this is what we intend to do and modernize it to greater extents. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, now, the Golgar trademark and logo was secured through a key search. Can you take us through the process? Uh, we actually went to Wakil search in order to register the trademark Golgar, G-O-L-G-H-A-R. Hmm. It comes with okay. a logo. Yeah. So uh, that's the neighborhood I was talking about. So we, yeah. we ourselves designed the logo and we registered it for class 25 and class 35. Class 25 allows okay. us to make wearables, allows us to make products out of it, which humans can wear. Okay. And class 35 gives us the liberty to export it. All of this knowledge and uh, the processes of doing all of this can be actually cumbersome. It's not very okay. readily available and you might have to invest a lot of money getting all of it 
and you have to step out of your house many times talk to a lot of people and get things done but yeah uh, as i said it's the world of online it's digital so the wakil search is exactly what it does it's, it's legal is simple so uh, we went to wakil search with the trademark itself and for registration to the class 25 and 35 and their advocates took care of it so uh, okay. we we didn't even have to step out of our house and okay. things were done digitally so that's one great advantage of using an online service for all of this so it's truly okay. online if you have to start an e-commerce website you can you can start a website from home you can register a trademark from home you can register a company from home so everything can be done without stepping out of the house and uh, you can be safe so uh, that's what we have been doing so uh, yeah it's good to hear that because that was the vision behind wakil search you know to provide an online platform and to make things simple the legal process simple so now that we've talked about your past and your present uh, let's move into your future uh, can you take us through some of your hobbies and plans and your future aspirations not just in terms of your business but also in terms of your personal life as well we like to hear both uh, great so i am a, i'm a bachelor's in aerospace engineering uh, from bangalore oh. so i am i'm a person who has knowledge of a very different thing very different from this family backgrounds business um so bring all that cultural technical uh, all the technicalities so bringing all of that technicalities into the business i have been able to realize uh, that we should actually be able to um, improve our it infrastructure and get your business online and seeing this uh, seeing the state of startups in bangalore i am inspired mm. to bring the same kind of uh, the state of startups in my state uttar pradesh which has been doing really great in businesses but not in digital businesses and uh, that's one of my vision uh, yeah as a part of it's it's you can say that it's a part of a hobby that i am actually making this website and doing the digital e-commerce because it allows me to learn something very new again so that is why i have right. taken great interest in it because that's my thing that's what engineering has taught us um as far as my future aspirations are concerned or the future aspirations of our entire business is concerned so we would love to uh, bring this entire business to a greater international level to have more international buyers uh, uh by in order to do this we have to scale up our business we have to add more to our inventory it requires time and dedication and that that is what we are really willing to put in we are starting small since we we have less of experience with the digital and online business but since we have 50 years of experience into doing business all together we are very much sure of our capabilities um right. so, and along with that we would also like to have certain brick and mortar stores flagship stores for golghar solely so these will be different from the stores that we already have the wholesale stores mm-hmm. we would like to have them as a separate entity altogether and they will represent what we do what we are doing online as far as my future aspirations are concerned so i i'm a i'm a i'm a type of person who would like to keep educating myself into new streams new fields and uh, to do great new things uh, so uh, i'm i'm still in my 20s and i i intend to do a lot more so i would i would okay. definitely not stop here just after making an online website and establishing this um uh, i intend to do more with uh, my aerospace degree and my other technical uh, know how okay thank you for that adarsh and with that we have come to the end of our session here so thank you for your time and for sharing all that information with us i'm sure our viewers will find it useful um yeah. the pleasure has been mine too uh, we have we have a very hard set up business and we are actually trying to do our best and uh, you know wakil search was uh, was one milestone of many to come because that's okay. if a trademark is getting registered or it is, or is in a process of registration we can use it with full proud with, with full rights and that that's that's yeah. in it, that in itself gives you a liberty of doing a lot of more things so okay. yeah we are still strong in our journey and we hope to expand all right okay sure adarsh thanks a lot and all the best to you and your family take care Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.